Hey everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I just want to say welcome back. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend, and hope you're ready for another episode of What a Weekend. I like to do What a Week on Fridays, and now What a Weekend on Mondays, just to kind of catch you up. A lot of stuff tends to kind of happen on the weekends. A lot of people going out looking for toys. Sometimes big stories, big news, but a lot of times mostly Monday kind of starts it off. So it's very inclusive. However, we are now, I believe, into hour 14 of Does Luke Skywalker Come With a Medal or Not? Hasbro released new images of their upcoming European convention exclusive Luke Skywalker, and we will be getting more into that later, but I know a lot of people are severely worried, if not, if he comes with a certain accessory. So we will definitely be getting into that. Just hold on to your horses for that. That piece of information, my God. But just to start it off, I wanted to say thank you to Jack Specific. Jax sent over this lovely box of their new Mario products, a couple Mega Man things, some Metroid products as well. So we will be taking a look at those subsequently throughout this week and into next. Especially starting today, we started with the Advent Calendar. That is a Amazon exclusive. And I went ahead and opened up day one. That'll be more towards the end of this episode. But if you wanted to go and check it out, yes, subsequently for the next 23 days, starting today, 24 days, I will be opening up the advent calendar just to kind of see what Jax is putting inside so that you have plenty of time if you wanted to go ahead and order it from Amazon before December rolls around to kind of do it with your kids or maybe your Mario Jax Pacific Collector, much like I am. They do amazing, amazing Mario stuff. I'm obsessed with their stuff. It's a guilty pleasure, and I love just putting it, all the dioramas, all the levels, everything together. But they were nice enough. They sent over the missing figure for my collection, and I will be showing him off as well. This is the Mega Man fully charged Guts Man figure, and it's a little hard to kind of figure out. One of those figures where I know that people found him on store shelves, but it was very few and far between. And I think he was available online, certain third-party sellers. Amazon, he was there, or he was there for a little bit, but yes, they were nice enough. Thank you again to Jax. They sent over a Gutsman figure, finally able to complete the collection, and then also I'll be able to show off the collection itself. So look for that video as well. And then also... Shout out again to collect underscore Jurassic, collect Jurassic on Instagram. Make sure you're following them. But they went ahead, collect Jurassic sent over that there is also a fourth kind of version of the Jumanji toys coming out to Walmart. This in particular is more of a vehicle figure and animal pack, which is actually pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. It's going to run you about 30 bucks if you can find it in the stores, and there's quite a bit of things packed in with that. You get the rhino, the eagle, the wolf, you get a little miniature rock figure, and then a vehicle to go along. And a lot of people, as I knew that they probably would, have been putting it with their Jurassic Park, Mattel Jurassic Park figures. So whether it be for Marvel Legends, food for your Jurassic Park figures, I think that Lannard has done another great thing with these new toys and then shout out to King Cuz the King. Thank you for writing in on Instagram. The Imagine Next Batman 80th set went back up on Amazon, and I can put a link in the description below. Evidently, this was kind of out for a long time, came back in. So if you are looking for this set, it's pretty cool. It's almost like the Mattel DC Multiverse set that they did for this year's SDCC. You got a regular Batman, Rainbow Batman, Bruce Wayne, and then... Was it Sinestro Corpse? And then one other one, which I forget what the green one is. Uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's actually pretty darn cool if I say so myself. Shout out to Crazen's Raisins 316 Nice guy. Always writes in really great finds. Over in Oakland, New Jersey, he was at a place called the House of Fun Toys. I believe it's like a mom and pop shop. Never been there, but he swears that it's an awesome shop. But... He actually got in and got actually the whole bunch, which I'll show you the photos. This is Pennywise. So this is the Mego, and I believe it's, I think we're on Series 7, I want to say. Mego, your, your horror, I'm not big into the other figures, but the horror figures that you're doing are a lot of fun. I really feel like those are definitely worth the bang for your buck. A lot of people are getting the Star Trek. They also have I Dream of Genie and Married with Children, things like that. The horror ones tend to be just spot on I, I grabbed a couple myself this past week they're just very cool and now you're doing Pennywise from it you're doing the Tim Curry version which 
one of the best looking figures I think you have put out. Honestly, that is amazing. So again, Crazen's Raisins 316, he grabbed these and then also came across the one that I cannot wait for. I was talking to the real action figure junkies and I was aware of Pennywise. I did not know the Headless Horseman or if I did, I just kind of slipped, but Seeing this again, the Headless Horseman looks amazing. I absolutely have to have this. I've never wanted Amigo figures so bad in my life. That is awesome. I really, really like that. Also, they have the Egyptian Mummy. He looks great, too. See, it's the horror figures that really work with this whole Amigo thing. I think that's classic. If they could only do DC and Marvel, man, what a missed opportunity. you got to get this out. And then there's also Lon Chaney's Phantom of the Opera. I'll be getting that one. I'll be honest, not really like, nah, I'm clamming for that one. But definitely the Headless Horseman, that's number one. Pennywise, and then also the Mummy. And if you are looking for past horror figures, and I mentioned in my last video, oddly enough, you can go over to Bed Bath & Beyond, and they have like pretty much the whole lot of them for sale. So definitely get one of their coupons and go check it out. You might find some old figures that you really need for your collection. And then shout out to zombie underscore the underscore hut, like previous vid, a lot of underscores, but they actually went to the Dodgers game, Dodgers versus the Rockies baseball game over the weekend, and they were giving away a really cool Dia de los Muertos Dodgers bobblehead. It almost looks like them, you know, as someone kind of pointed out in the comments as well. Very interesting. And I think it's like, a, I love giveaways like that. I think that's a lot of fun, especially with Spirit of Halloween. Dia de los Muertos, all that stuff's kind of coming back. Fall is kicking off, especially today. But yeah, if you were at the Dodgers game, you know, how is the figure? Let me know. Or if you get one, or if you got to get one now, I'm sure eBay has them. <laughs> and moving on, and apparently these have been kind of out maybe for a week or so. A lot of people said that they had found them, they just didn't really realize he was new or not. But Thundercracker has started to hit Walmarts. This was in Turlock, California. So shout out to Omar Salinas Art on Instagram. He came across it, grabbed him. This Seeker, they've been releasing a lot of Seekers lately. They had Red Wing, they got the three-pack. Starscream is pretty much everywhere. But a lot of Seekers, and they also have Skywarp also on the way. So if you are a big fan of the Transformers Siege, if you're looking for a new figure for your collection, one that's not an exclusive or... God knows what else, but yeah, Walgreens will also be having the upcoming Ratchet figure that you can grab, so a Walgreens exclusive, but this particular Thundercracker, he's packed with Megatron, so if you find Megatron, you pretty much just missed him, but yeah, start looking at your Walmarts. Then, again, on the 21st, it was another Batman Day, so we had Batman Day on the 15th, and then I guess we had official Batman Day in whatever sense, so happy birthday, or happy Batman day, or whatever it is at this point, DC Comics making up days, but yeah, it was Batman day, and it was really nice to see a lot of people's photos, that's always, that's a fun, it's a fun time to do a lot of crazy Batman photos, also this past Friday, they finally released the reimagined redo of Link's Awakening, that was originally from the Game Boy, that's the Legend of Zelda, the game looks amazing. I got to play play it and also kind of like see what exactly they were going for and really get a good idea at this past year's STCC. They gave a really nice keychain that if you kind of remove the keychain part of it, I know he still kind of has the hook on his head, but actually fits really well in the Jack Specific 2.5 inch dungeon playset. It's I I want them to Jack's have like and I understand I think what's going on with Legend of Zelda at the moment but if they could make play sets and things for this new game or just Zelda in general I think that that would be a lot of fun they got the Mario thing going if you could start branching off again into Zelda Metroid and all that kind of stuff go back to the world of Nintendo that would be so much fun I would be all over that also, so on Saturday, Saturdays typically, however things go, depending on time and all that, I woke up and went up to a few garage sales here and there and went to a couple of them and lo and behold, found some really awesome stuff. And this was a lot of fun because actually on Batman Day, I found a George Clooney Batman figure, like a 12-inch figure. He's got all the rubber armor of the cape, perfect condition. 
absolutely love it. Came across, and I had to look this up. I really wasn't sure. It said DC Comics, and lo and behold, it's actually a Batman Unlimited Molten Magma Clayface. So when I when I saw it, and I, I thought it, it first of all, kind of looked like the uh, the brand new Spider Man Far From Home. It kind of looked like Molten Man. But it says DC Comics, so then I was thinking maybe it was like Chemo or Chemo or whatever his name is. But lo and behold, it's from like a really interesting set of figures, and that's just Molten Magma Clayface. But of course, and then I found an old Godzilla figure, a couple 8-tracks for my 8-track tape player. And then this actually wasn't from a garage sale, it was a sale I got, was the Spot from Toy Biz. Spider-Man, the animated series, always had the Spot, but... He didn't actually appear in the more four and a half, five inch line. He was only released as a giant figure. And I'll show him off more for a Retro Shiz episode. But yeah, if you are wondering if he has a thwipping hand, yeah, Toy Biz was all about reusing stuff. So he definitely has a thwipping hand. Shout out to Paradise underscore Loot for the find at their local 99 cent store. They came across some previously kind of sort of hard to find Titans Return figures. For a buck, you can't beat it. He found Ramhorn and a few other ones. So if you are looking for some older Titans Return smaller figures for a dollar, definitely get out to your 99 cent store. You cannot beat that. That's that's an awesome find. Disney Plus, Disney kind of sort of released some more information and saying, hey, why don't you pre-order our service now? So we have pre-orders for streaming services. Very, very smart. <laughs> But yes, they did reveal that the Disney Afternoon will be returning to Disney Plus, including Gargoyles, all three seasons, which I am so stoked on. I am in agreement with a lot of people in the comments. The, the like a new action figure line would be awesome, and I know Jordan Peele has pitched a Gargoyles movie to Disney, but apparently their response has kind of been not really interested apparently at this point, or they have something going, or they're maybe planning on something. But rest assured, give it some time. One way or another, Gargoyles will be back some way, somehow. Over at Walmart, I know we had a big discussion about Walmart last week. I had to go in there for another thing, and then I stopped by the toy section. Also the Halloween section. But they do have jar, like big masonry jars 16 floor ounces to be exact, of slime. So you get a slime, a green slime that glows in the dark, and then a red slime. They're about six bucks each. Not too bad. You do get a lot of slime. I didn't test it out. I have several jars of slime that I have. If they would have had like a purple pink slime like Ghostbusters 2, I would have been all over it. But I think that more towards clearance, then I probably will grab a bottle of this uh, slime just to have it. Might be kind of fun for Glow in the Dark, Ghostbusters, especially for next year with all the new releases. So just a heads up, I think that might be kind of fun. Just saying. Shout out to at Mr. Underscore Brummage for the find at their local FYE in Oregon. They discovered that they're the once Amazon exclusive, the deluxe Star Wars, the first order Stormtrooper set, like the one that came with like 50 million weapons and all that. And they kind of, chopped it up for later releases as single pack but if you want one they are back at FYEs or at least certain FYEs and they're about $40 so if you missed out the first time and you want to get one definitely go and check that out also and it's funny I posted this photo and it wasn't until somebody said something I was like oh my god how did I miss that you have a Stretch Armstrong doll of Donald Trump and it's called Stretch the Truth so if you're interested in me checking that out comment below i reached out to the people that make the actual figure so hopefully we they get back to me and maybe we can check that out maybe have some fun with that that is just all kinds of uh all kinds of funny right there over on uh doming toys they you know great company they're overseas but they do a great job always quick to ship takes a good week week and a half depending on where you are in the united states but rest assured they're always on top of it with the recent Walgreens canceling Emma Frost orders and then kind of being vague and saying, well, we don't know, I get, you know, acting like they're out. They might be out for now, but I would not say that they're out indefinitely. So I wouldn't worry. They, they only hit a little bit. They can't have just made that many. It doesn't make it any feasible sense why they would make so little and then not put them out. So expect those to kind of 
come back eventually. But if you couldn't wait, if you didn't want to wait, Doming Toys has them back up again. So if you want to go ahead and grab them, go ahead and grab her now. Shout out to JWMP underscore show. Really great. Always writes in, gives me the 411 and all these great imports coming in and everything. So this is the Medicom Toy Mafex Black Manta from the recent Aquaman movie. He looks great. I was actually a fan of the Aquaman toys that Mattel had done for the movie. It was really what happened with Batman versus Superman and then also Justice League that kind of can that so i think shazam and aquaman definitely took a hit even though those were the better like the best of the dc movies along with wonder woman so all three of the good movies that you would have liked to have a lot more toys for definitely took the heat and then we're left with the bad movies they got the most toys and nobody wanted them but this new medicom black manta looks fantastic so if you want one more deets on availability and such later and then also for medicom they released images of the upcoming Chucky doll that they're doing. He will be in a five-inch scale. Looks to have cloth goods, mixture of plastic, all that, weapons, extra head portraits. So, again, more details on those exact releases and the pricing and everything else as they become available. And then, shout-out to Mattel underscore Jurassic and Billy Reed 996 for the actual find and the photo. They came across the brand-new Mattel Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Brachiosaurus, and this was at their Target. Stopped them dead at the checkout counter. The actual release is not until October 6th, so you cannot buy it. If you find it in stores, they're going to stop you. They're going to street date you, so they should just not even be putting it out. However, I do anticipate this will be available on Target.com, and stores will get them, and I believe that this is this is going to be... One of the, for, for Jurassic Park collectors and such, this is going to be definitely a hot item. So I would recommend that if you do want it early, start checking your stores, especially around October 6th. But if you want it, you absolutely have to have it and you don't want to go the, the whole Spinosaurus thing from last time, grab it when you see it. That's, that's probably my best advice. So Hasbro released, officially official, they released their photos of their upcoming European exclusive. Star Wars the Black Series and this is Luke Skywalker in his comic book sort of deal where basically he's in his yellow coat from the end of A New Hope and for me X-Wing pilot Luke and then also this yellow jacket is one of my favorite looks for Luke Skywalker. I'm kind of in agreement with everyone it seems to be the ultimate agreement down below in the comments however just to give you an idea this will be a overseas exclusive to begin with which includes London Comic Con, Paris Comic Con, Luca, Salon Manga Barcelona, Madrid Comic Con. I'm just reading them off the uh, the list. And then starting around November 4th in Asia and North America, you will be able. They didn't really specify on who, but it it sounds like retail or let's say Amazon or online retailers will be getting this as well. Didn't give a price range either. I'm thinking with its accessories and stuff, maybe around the $30, $30 mark. I think that would be fair in the sense of coming with a good number of accessories. However, the the main point of controversy today is that they did have some news sites that posted early photos before the press releases went out. And the early photos showed that this particular Luke Skywalker came with a medal and a different gun Whereas the press release that I received personally from Hasbro did not come with a medal and it's a completely different blaster than is seen in the packaging. What exactly is happening has not been fully explained. It looks to be maybe another case of releasing some extra early photos, much like they did accidentally with Marvel Legends and Jean Grey and how that kind of got straightened out. So we'll have new photos for that as well. This one, I anticipate probably the same thing happened. Not pointing fingers, not throwing stones, accidents do happen. But in a sense of Star Wars, in a very, very sensitive situation such as Star Wars, especially with not a lot of people really being too happy with how Star Wars is going, being portrayed in the media and everything else in the new movie, doesn't help, but we'll just have to see what happens. So lo and behold... It looks like he's not ultimately going to come with a medal, but we should know more from Hasbro very soon. The controversy continues. Hopefully, everyone will be okay by the end of the evening. 
And then, like I said, we dived into the first opening of the Advent, day one of the Jack Specific Super Mario Advent calendar. And lo and behold, if you want to watch the video on my Instagram, but spoilers ahead, I will tell you that day one was Ice Luigi, and I'm really happy that it was because I actually don't have that 2.5 inch character, so that's actually pretty cool. One so far out of the uh, out of all 24 days, so that's that was pretty awesome. I was so glad when I opened it, I was like, oh my god, thank you that it's a it's a new character that I don't have. I think a lot of it honestly is going to be reused characters that they've released before they don't specify that the calendar has anything new or exclusive or anything else like that but if you do need some extra parts for your 2.5 inch dioramas and your collection well if you want to stay tuned in the next 23 days we will have gotten through all of them but i just wanted to make it fun and have a blast opening up each of the little doors just before we finish i went over to gamestop tonight just to see if they had any of the new marvel legends figures and found some of the new Fortnite. I didn't buy them just because it's GameStop and I don't, unless they're exclusives and yada yada, then I'm not going there. But they did have several new Jazzwares Fortnite figures DJ Yonder, the Triage Trooper, Verge, Longshot, Ruckus, that looks amazing, and then Frostbite. Unfortunately, they did not have old Peely. I probably would have broken my little thing with GameStop if they would have had Peely. I, I can't wait to have a Peely figure, especially the McFarland Peely. I'm getting both Peelys. Those look hilarious. And then also it's just something fun that I had found on the store shelves. It just kind of caught my eye by uh, Sales One Studios. They kind of do more like the gimmicky type stuff with pop culture. Not, not bad, probably pretty interesting stuff, but they had some Spider-Man memes that you'd find on the internet and they had a couple funny ones. Nothing too crazy outlandish but hey you know what it's just something interesting and for those of you who love pins maybe you go to Disneyland maybe you got a big pin collection well this might be right up your alley so that's going to do it for this weekend's recap the what a weekend concludes another weekend down I'm going to have a bunch of reviews and of course you know Mario advent calendars and everything else subsequently through the week Need to get through a bunch of stuff that's been lingering, so stay tuned. Gonna have a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Give you some idea on some new toys and such. Neck of toys, some jacks, some ninja turtles, everything, anything. I don't know. Stuff's piling up out here. We need to we need to get through it and start looking at some toys. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Let me know what you guys think about any of this news. Did you find anything good over the weekend? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk all things toys. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if a Star Wars figure does not come with a medal, my God, people just lose their minds. Could you imagine what would happen if they started doing white and or carbonized boxes for the Black Series? My God. Anyways, <laughs> and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.